Wow, that was awesome. <laughs>
what have you done, uh, you know, hitting-wise? Have you hit any home runs? Have you got any extra base hits? Cool. Walks are cool, right? I mean, you get your on-base percentage. But have you done anything other than that, other than strike out, look at pitches down the middle of the plate? He's just, he's terrible. I, I know the way to say it, man. I mean, he got that nice line drive RBI single the other day against the Yankees in that doubleheader. Other than that, I haven't seen anything that's really impressed me from him. I mean, obviously, cool, you're getting on base, he's a disciplined hitter. But he's too, he's overly patient. And he doesn't capitalize on opportunities that he should. Uh, and he watches too many pitches. It's just, he's, he's, I just don't like it, man. I really don't. Um, so I'm really disappointed in him. Uh, goes over for three, one walk, one strikeout. Cool, you lead the, you know, you have, uh, you know, ten walks on the season. You know, the people keep making such a big deal. Oh, Luis Austin's tenth walk of the season. Okay, what has he? What, what's he done other than that? Has he gotten a lot of extra base hits? Has he, you know, drove runs in, like he's supposed to do? Because that's what he we think he should be doing, right? Obviously, since he is a power hitter, but instead he's changed, and that's why Girardi keeps putting him in the tool. I don't blame him. If he's not going to hit for power and get extra base hits, why on earth should Girardi put him in the four hole? So, it's very very disappointing. And Bryce Harper goes two for four. Uh, one single uh, and uh, a double. Obviously, grounds into that double play. Uh, but, um, yeah, single and a double last night. He did pretty well. Um, you know, I guess his average up to 292. See, that's an aggressive hitter. So scored a run, obviously, from that Didi Gregorius. Uh, but that's an aggressive hitter, man. I tell you. And I know Harper isn't perfect. We all know that. Know what he is. But um, Harper's way more aggressive and has done more of his job this year than, than Reese Hoskins has. JT Remuto going one for three. One runs. Uh, uh, one run scored, obviously the, the home run that he hit, uh, one walk, and uh, then we got Didi Gregorius going two for four, one run scored, one RBI, obviously drove in Harper on that RBI single. I said this on my Instagram story, I said the more I see Didi Gregorius play, the more and more I like him, and that's true, man. I went, we, when we signed this guy, you guys know that I wasn't really a huge fan, but I love this guy now, especially after seeing what, what Gene Segura and Scott Kingery have done. Like not, I mean, I know it's not, I know it's early. They've been, they have not been doing their job. And I think it's good that we brought in another middle infielder, like Didi Gregorius, on a one-year deal. I love it, man. I think he's awesome. I think he's a good teammate. I think he's a nice guy. And I couldn't be more thrilled to have him on my team, man. I think he's a great dude. And um, Didi Gregorius, the more I see him play, the more and more I like him. So um, he goes two for four, one run, uh, one run scored, and one RBI. And we got Gene Segura going one for two, one run scored and two walks. Uh, didn't have a bad night. Obviously, he's been struggling, but he had a pretty good night last night. Jay Bruce goes two for four, one run scored, three RBIs. Obviously, he's from that three on home run. Uh, Roman uh, 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 Roman Quinn did to get a box score, obviously, since he did take over for Hazley in center field. Uh, did not get an at bat though. Uh, uh, Scott Kingry uh, goes zero for four, one strikeout. Man, that's what I was telling you, man. He's been really, really struggling. Um, hasn't really been doing that well. Um, and uh, goes out for four. He's just, he's batting 071. Um, so he's been like the worst hitter on the team so far this year. Uh, lowest batting average, and he has had a lot of opportunities, unfortunately. So it's just it's uh, hopefully he'll get it going. You know he's a very, very streaky hitter. We all know that. And obviously he didn't do so well like, last year. I believe in the end of the year. So I know he went through that really hot stretch in like June, remember last year. Um, but uh, he's a very, very streaky. We have a lot of streaky hitters on our team, don't we? Like Hoskins, Harper. Um, Adam Hayes, who goes over for three, one strikeout, you know, didn't really have that good of a night last night, obviously he's been really doing well, but last night wasn't so good, but we all know that everybody has an off night, so it's not that big a deal, but then we got, let's talk about Jake Arrieta, going six innings, three hits, one walk, and and six strikeouts, Jake Arrieta, deserves a round of applause, I have to give it to him, he pitched great, his record is now one and one on the season, he pitched great, and I think he does deserve that round of applause, no question in my mind, awesome. I'm so impressed with him. He, he he did great. And if he could, obviously, I know he's not going to go out there and throw a six scoreless every time, but if he could just have a decent outing, and like this outing he did in New York and only allow one or two runs or even three in like five or six innings, and then, you know, and our, allow our offense to do our job, then I could live with that. Obviously, he's never going to live up to his 25 million AAV, which is a complete joke, but forget about that for a second and just look at what can he give us, what's on the table. And honestly, if he could do that for us, then that would be huge. Um, so I really, really hope that he could do that for us. Because, uh, you know, he could. I really do. I think he could. Um, you know, so, and we got Jose Alvarez, two thirds of an inning, one hit. And we got Tommy Hunter redeeming, redeeming himself, going uh, one and one third. 
uh, and uh, striking out a batter. And we got Guerrero going one inning and uh, getting two strikeouts. And that's your ball game. Five nothing Phillies. Your final score with the Atlanta Braves. As um, you know, as I said, JT continues to stay hot. Jake Arrieta with a great outing. Uh, Jay Bruce just being Jay Bruce hitting those hitting those powerful home runs. Yeah, it's a powerful swing. Uh, so uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it um, with the game part of it. Now let's talk about something really really big happened yesterday. Joe Girardi was asked why a to be determined. Uh, was next to the uh, Phillies pitcher uh, in uh, Game 2 of the doubleheader. He said, Where, who's going to start Game 2? And he said, oh, I don't know. Uh, I don't have any official announcement, but the guy's uh, initials are SH. So we all know it's Spencer Howard. Spencer Howard will make his Major League debut today. <laughs> Phillies' top pitching prospect, Spencer Howard, will make his Major League be- debut today. Uh, they, they said it was the. It's still to be determined. It's either going to be the first game or the second game. Uh, it was supposed to be Vince Velasquez that was supposed to start the first game. Obviously, the the uh, the game uh, Friday night was obviously rained out due to inclement weather. Um, so um, one of five this afternoon, the first pitch. Uh, I'm gonna guess probably Vince Velasquez. We're probably gonna see. Uh, obviously, had a rough start his last time against that Miami, against the Miami Marlins squad. Remember that Sunday game? We were up like what, like four or five nothing, and then we blew it. Not the first time, man. It's been so frustrating. And we got game two, so we're, I'm probably gonna. I'm, I'm guessing we're probably gonna see Spencer game two. Um, at least I hope that's what's. Ha- I hope that's what we see because that was supposed to be what was scheduled. And obviously now I guess it's you know it says to be determined. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna say we're probably gonna see Spencer game two, Vince game one. We'll see though. But man, I'm so excited to see uh, Spencer Howard uh, just do his thing, man. That guy, he he's gonna be good, man. If we you know, I was thinking I said if Aaron Nola continue to be Aaron Nola, if Zach Lear can do his job. If Zach Eflin could be halfway decent and just, you know, just, you know, not be a superstar, but can be a decent pitcher. If Spencer Howard can really develop and become a good arm for the Phillies, then our rotation wouldn't be that bad. Think about it. And if, if we could fix some of our bullpen woes and our offense and we could re-sign JT, honestly, I think we have a really good future, man. I really do. And I, and, and I like what I saw out of Zach Wheeler, you know, lately this year. Uh, we just need to start scoring with Noah pitches, and that will change. It just, we're just, it just... They're just kind of stuck on a little rut right now, but it's it, we'll get out of it. It's not that big a deal. So five nothing Phillies, one of five the first pitch, and it's obviously a to be determined when the second game will start. For some reason, they don't have like set times for the second games. It's just that I was like that in that Yankee series. So I guess whenever like I think it was only like a matter of like half an hour, and then they began the sec- began the second game. So yeah, guys, five nothing Phillies. Now let's take a look at the divisional scores. The Baltimore Orioles defeated the Nationals five to three. As the Nationals now dropped to four and seven, they've really been struggling at home. Um, as Juan Soto homers in his return back to line up the Mets <sighs> defeated the uh, the Marlins eight to four. Yeah, well they're still six and nine. They're still not a good baseball team, so I'm, I'm not really worried about it. But um, yeah, man, hopefully the Mets. Uh, yeah, well they lost the first game, so uh, you know it's not that big a deal. But obviously you guys know that I'm not a <laughs> not in any way fan of those and not in any way a fan of those Mets. So. We're now four and four in the year. The Braves are nine and six. As um, great performance, guys. Great performance. So, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please check out the social media link in the description section. Please call or text two six seven two two five three three nine two. Email me Phillies Hot Stove at gmail.com. Thank you, guys, so much for watching this video. I'm Luke, and I will talk to you all later. Please like this video, comment on this video, share this video. Please subscribe to the app. Please turn the notification bell. Thank you. One of five, the first pitch. Uh, this afternoon, Atlanta Braves, obviously a doubleheader. I will see you. Uh, two videos today. Uh, I plan on making a video recapping this first game after the first game. Not like not like last time. It might happen like last time where I just do two videos at the end of the last game. I don't know. I don't think so. I think I'm going to have time to do the video today uh, before second game. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Luke, and I will talk to you later. One of five, the first pitch. See you guys.